Now this error 6400 has to do with the zero crossing signal problem. What happens is that once you once you send your power to this printer, the power within three to five seconds is supposed to get to certain components on this printer. If the power is not getting there within three to five seconds, it's going to come up with error C6400, which is a problem, zero crossing problem on the printer. So something is wrong. Is it that the voltage is low? Or once you plug in the voltage, the voltage is not able to get to certain components of, of this printer within three to five seconds. So if you've confirmed that your voltage is okay, confirm that the voltage is okay, the next thing that we are going to check is the power supply and check the communication between the power supply on of this uh, printer and ensure that it is uh, sending the right power to other parts of the printer. So first things first, I'm going to open this up so that I can be able to assess this cover easily. This has to come off and then I have to remove this one also. This one too has to come off. And then I'm going to remove this. So this is the fuser unit, we're not working on the fuser unit, the area that we're working on is, is the power. So I'll open this up and then remove, remove this. Alright, so I'll remove this PC. Now, you have to be very careful when working on this area. Ensure you do not touch any components. There we have some capacitors here that that has high voltage rating like 400 volt and upward that way. So this is how this work. Power, when you plug in your, your power plug into the printer, the power supply um, unit, which this is the power supply unit, is supposed to send um, power within three to five seconds to certain components on this printer. So if the connection here is loose, it won't be able to send power to all those components and it's going to come up with error C 6400, which is the zero crossing signal problem. So I'm going to check the connections from this power supply to each and every component of this printer and ensure that the right power is going to the right places on, on this printer. So one of the first thing I want to check is the power going to the fuser unit. This is not likely a fuser unit issue because the fuser unit is fine. The error is 6400. If it ought to be a fuser unit issue, it will have come up with another error. But if it's the error C6400, it has to be 
a communication error, power not going to certain areas of the printer within uh, three to five seconds. So let's check that all of the connections here are, uh, none of the connections here are loose. So the power from here goes into all of these components. I'm going to ensure each of, each of the connection here is okay. So this is fine, power is coming here. And then let's check this, power is coming here. Let's, this is not loose. Ensure that this is tight and this is tight. This one also, this. So I'm going to ensure that all of them, you can see, this is the power. This cable is coming directly from this power here. I'm going to ensure that it is well plugged in. Sometimes it looks connection. You can even decide to remove it and plug it back again just to be sure that there is no loose connection between them. But when you unplug it, ensure you plug it in properly. So I'm going to ensure that all of them is properly keyed into their slots. Instead, if the there's a loose connection between them, it will come up with that error 6400 that we do not want. All right, so everything seems to be fine here. I'll go ahead now and close up this printer. Thank you.